Hi YouTube, this is JJ714. How are you? I hope you've had a wonderful weekend so far and a really great day today. And as I usually say, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I have really been rejoicing and being glad in this day. And I just wanted to give an update on my end of my third week of my weight loss journey. And so far, this week has been very productive. I've actually gone to the gym actually three days out of the seven days, but I've exercised five of the seven days. So I didn't um, exercise on Thursday nor Saturday, but both of those days I've actually was doing a lot of house cleaning and um, getting out winter clothes, uh, washing clothes, ironing, all that good stuff, cooking, grocery shopping. You know it, you know, like they say, when you have a family, you just, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So, in totality, um, this week has been a very productive week. Um, I actually tried a new class today called Zumba. I'm sure if some of you have heard of it, you know that it's a very, very, very intense class. And um, for my first time, I'll have to say, um... I'm not particularly like, you know, woo 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 wild about the class, but you do, you can burn between five and 600 calories, um, which is, I think that's a great deal. And it does actually um, entail you moving all the parts of your body or working parts of your body. So um, I found out like uh, there's a saying, uh, shake what your mama gave you. I said today that I should what my mama gave me, what my daddy gave me. And what I got on my own <laughs> so I mean it was a lot of shaking going on <laughs> but uh, I did um, I guess toward the end I would have to say that um, once I can really get um, a lot of the steps and the routines down that um, I would probably feel more comfortable about the class and um, probably be a little bit more uh, what I say positive because um, being that I'm in my mid almost late 40s it's like um being where you're moving and you're jumping and you're bopping and all this kind of stuff is really something that you know in this day and age i wasn't looking forward to doing but i'm trying to have a positive attitude and really mix it up so that i can be able to get my body where I change it up where it's not so like, oh, well, she's going to do this today. No, I want to be able to say, hey, body, it's time for a change. And I mean, it's time for a change. So um, overall, I would have to say that it was pretty good class. Um, other than that, I did a lot of walking. I actually, on the treadmill Friday, um, I was on it for actually an hour and I burned about almost 1200 calories on it because I really uh, bumped it up I um, took the incline up to 12 um, up to 12 and I stayed there probably about 40 minutes of the of, I would say about 45 minutes because I think I only was at 10 when I first started out for like the first minute or two and then I jacked it up to 12 and the speed was 4.0 I did go up to 4.1 but I'm at a point now that um, I want to gradually build so probably starting next week I'm going to start taking the speed up a little bit and uh, see how I can handle it with the incline. Um, for me the reason I do the incline is because one I do tend to burn more calories but also it helps me build my gluts in the back of my legs and everything it really tightens that area up back there and um, I really like what it did for me before so um, it is to me it almost does the same thing that squats would do if you're doing um, you know weightlifting or using the free weights or so forth so I really enjoy um, on the treadmill doing the incline and if you're not comfortable uh, with it you know the incline I would say start low like maybe at five or seven but to me to really get the benefits of it you can have to bring it up to like ten uh, at least the, I would say the bare minimum would be ten and uh, bring your speed up a little bit so that you can really you know cause yourself to move and it's so funny because 
there could be somebody on another treadmill and they're running and with me on the treadmill with the uh, tre with the incline on and at 4.0 I'm moving just as fast as they are running <laughs> and I'm not lying <laughs> and these are people that are younger than me too so just to tell you that um, I do be moving on the treadmill but overall I was pretty satisfied um, with my exercise process I'm still working on the nutrition trying to balance with um, making sure because I don't want to eat differently than my family eats I'm trying to really make it a family thing so I'm trying to um, incorporate more um, chicken we're really we like fish but we're not overly crazy about fish but I've tried to cut down on the beef and um, put more ground turkey in it and that's lean ground turkey so um, we'll see what happens how that works but I am cutting back um, as a matter of fact I probably don't eat as much as I need to eat but I have started eating salads like a small salad salad for lunch with something else so I'm trying to make sure I get my greens and all that stuff in as well but overall um, I'm just um, you know trying to be consistent uh, so far it's been three weeks that's good for me and now that it's starting to get cooler I'm really trying to make sure that I'm consistent because when it get cold girlfriend don't like to go out when it gets cold but I figure okay Janice you know you got to do this you got to be consistent you got to stick with it because you know you know Thanksgiving is right around the corner then Christmas and then New Year so you gotta you know get yourself geared to exercise and so when those holidays come you won't you know overdo it and then you can get right back and start doing what you need to do so um, I'm just uh, excited and I'm looking forward to any comments I have had some new subscribers that are actually taking this journey as well so I'm excited about seeing what they're doing as well their progress and um, one thing that I have been watching I haven't watched it as much this year but me and my daughter we watched it a lot in the summer was the show The Biggest Loser and um, I mean my heart really goes out when I see a person three and four hundred pounds but it just lets me know that um, <clears throat> if you're overweight it doesn't matter how many pounds over you know when you're overweight it's just not healthy for you um, you know a lot of time it's an epidemic really in our country and um, I figure for me that the one thing that I do have control over is my body and what you know I put in my body so I'm really um, looking forward to doing this uh, predominantly for myself but I want to be a role model for my daughter my family anybody else that I can help so I look forward to any comments any suggestions or recommendations and I'm actually thinking about doing a video blog separately with the weight loss because now the Lord has really been showing me that it's um, also mine over a matter in other words um, we're spirit was sold inward body so not only with the physical you got to deal with the mental and you got to deal with the spiritual so I think I'm gonna separate this blog and um, do just a separate blog for uh, weight loss so if I do I will you know let you know so if you want to come over and visit that channel I would love to have you over there as well but I'm just going to say good, have a good evening and I hope you have a great evening this evening and that you will have an even better week coming up this week. So be blessed and continue to do you and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.